That's yeah. surreal, man. Pull that Hulk Hogan. 12 from Washington. Crunch. Believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you was there. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Every day, one, blood. <laughs> Every day. All right, this is the sound of comics, man. I really, really respect these guys. So they got an album coming out on the label, right? Yeah, first artist album. Well, second after mine. But I'm really glad. Uh, they're they're the, the guys that really put a lot of faith back into my game. They kind of show me that you can still have that real analogue and a real beautiful sound and yeah. a real full sound that uh-huh. kind of, I yeah. feel has been missing, you know? Beautiful tune. What's the track called? Games Worm. Wicked. Beautiful. legendary we've already done it really but the blue note man please seminal club man <laughs> we had some nights in there and you oh, know what seminal. you know what though I've got every session are you that. joking man no I've got every session blood seriously every, I found him the other day I've got every session barring the first seven which was no one really in there the first couple of weeks anyway well, I don't know. but you know no no, I'm just, but no 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 but seriously I've got every session I've got you back yeah. back I've got everyone in there I've got oh. every session which we'll be streaming soon on actually what well, well, do you find it difficult like you know uh, everything was so happened for you so quick in the 90s mm-hmm. and you know then of course there's always a transitional period do you find yourself always trying to relive that is that, um, has that been a problem no nah, I feel that I feel that most of it was a blitz anyway but I do you know being an artist I always strive to you know understanding all these different things and I think now it's different now we've got kids now we've grown up a lot more now mm-hmm. and it's just different aspects of it but the blue note for me was it was, you know, Rage was my, my real kind of adolescence but, and Blue Note was, I was kind of in control of it almost, but it was, it was just a session where I could see the music grow in a, in a, in a fast time, you know, and it was uh, a beautiful place, man. I mean, 
Yeah. You can't, I can't reproduce that. Even if I do a metal session wherever it is, you can't reproduce that. No, no, you, you, you won't. And you know the amazing thing about the Blue Note, and the good thing is that the club just ended, didn't it? Yeah, it just, <laughs> The club didn't just carry on yeah, and yeah. your night wasn't there. Yeah, the yeah, I know. The club just kind of just disappeared. And so. that's, that's the thing, yeah, you're right there. I mean, I went, I went back more. there and it was like a bar and yeah, it's changed. Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? And it's a weird sensation. Yeah, oh, yeah. it, it is, man. It's crashed. Yeah, as Ryder puts it, it crashed and burned. Let's get profoundity out the window there. As soon as they took the music out of that place, it crashed. Yeah.